Football is an intriguing sport, not only for the dopamine rush it gives both players and fans, but for the plenty of folly that happens in the games too. These NFL players are not perfect, and they have a lot of fumble times, which many of them would love to erase. Getting caught on live TV in an embarrassing moment under the unforgiving gaze of millions is definitely not what anyone wants. But it happens anyways, and it's a big part of the game. In this video, we'll explore an aspect of football that people rarely talk about, sharing some of the most humiliating moments NFL players have ever faced, and how they recovered from them. Now let's dive right into this humorous journey of the most humiliating moments players have faced in the NFL. Number 1. Mark Sanchez Butt Fumble Starting right at number 1 on our list was when Mark Sanchez made history with the infamous butt fumble. On Thanksgiving Day 2012, the New York Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez made a play that would be remembered for all the wrong reasons. During the game, Sanchez ran into the butt of one of his linemen in one of the most awkward manners you'll ever see. It makes you wonder if he wasn't seen properly enough to avoid collision with a butt or maybe he just lost it. This resulted in a fumble that the New England Patriots almost didn't recover from, but they did in return for a touchdown. However, Mark Sanchez's butt fumble was an instant meme, and Sanchez became the punchline of countless jokes all over the internet. In recent interviews, Sanchez has joked about the incident, showing that a sense of humor and humility can turn even the most embarrassing moments into a learning experience, and of course, a lifelong meme. Number 2. Leon Lett's Super Bowl Blunder At number 2, we'll take a look at one of the most embarrassing howlers in the last decade. In Super Bowl 2017, the Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman Leon Lett made an error that cost his team the game. What made the loss worse was Leon's early celebration before even making a touchdown. Here's how it went down. After recovering a fumble, Lett sprints towards the end zone and celebrates before he even crosses the touchdown line. The Buffalo Bills wide receiver, Don Beeb, was on his tail, catching Lett unaware. Beeb chased him down and knocked the ball out of his hand just before the goal line, preventing the touchdown. Yikes! That look on his face was priceless, and the reaction was even worse. Number 3. Garo Yepperman's Gaff In the Super Bowl, the Miami Dolphins kicker Garo made a gaff that is still remembered today. Well, not for the best reasons. Garo fumbled the ball while attempting a pass after a blocked field goal. But the pass was so terrible and landed right in the hands of the other team. He was lucky enough that the pass was returned for a touchdown by the Washington Redskins, but it didn't erase his embarrassing fumble. The play almost cost the Dolphins their perfect season, and Garo now reflects on the incident with humor saying, every time people bring it up, I remind them that we still won the game. His ability to laugh at himself and move on shows the mindset needed to overcome public embarrassment no matter how great. Number 4. Tony Romo's Playoff Mishap at number 4, we have one of the most unforgettable playoff mishaps. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo faced one of his most humiliating moments during the 2006 playoffs against the Seattle Seahawks. Romo fumbled the snap on a potential game-winning field goal, causing the Cowboys to lose that season. The dejected image of Romo sitting on the field became rather iconic and hilarious. Some fans wonder what was going through his mind since he was the reason his team lost the game. Maybe not entirely. Do you think Romo's mishap is the reason why they lost? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Number 5. Jim Marshall's Wrong Way Run One of the most memorable blunders in NFL history is Jim Marshall's Wrong Way Run. We can laugh about it now, but it wasn't funny at the time. In the 1964 game, the Minnesota Vikings defensive end recovered a fumble and sprinted 66 yards to the end zone only to realize he was running the wrong way the whole time and scored a safety for the opposing team. How do you even do that? You can only imagine what was running through his mind. He had definitely lost his sense of direction that day. Marshall's reaction to this embarrassing wrong way didn't end his career though. He fought back and instead letting the mistake haunt him, he returned to the game and played with even more determination. Marshall went on to have a Hall of Fame career, known for his toughness and leadership. His wrong way run became a footnote in a legacy filled with accomplishments. It didn't change the fact that it was one of the most embarrassing moments of his career, though. Number 6. Dan Orlovsky's Safety Blunder Next on our list is a safety blunder that won't stop leaving a grin on our faces anytime soon. Detroit Lions quarterback Dan Orlovsky made headlines for the wrong reasons during the 2008 season. 
In a game against the Minnesota Vikings, Rolovsky accidentally ran out of the back of the end zone while attempting to avoid a sack, resulting in a safety. This play became symbolic of the Lions' winless season and felt like a summary of their season. Rather than avoid this like he tried doing with the sack, he accepted his error and got over the embarrassment. He continued to work hard and eventually found success as a backup quarterback, but not erase his howler from the history books. Number 7. Daniel Jones' Epic Fail At number 7, we have a fall from grace. Daniel Jones was in the best position to finish up the game with no obstacle in sight. It was a wide open field, and every other player was running behind this man. All of a sudden, the most unexpected thing happened to Daniel's legs. And no, before you think he had a sprain or an injury, he didn't. The crowd sat eagerly waiting for Daniel's touchdown and celebration when, all of a sudden, he tripped over nothing. Maybe it was the wind or a ghost on the track. Well, only he could tell. We have no explanation for Daniel Jones falling face first in the open grass. Maybe we can get one from him later. That definitely cost his team the game. But it mostly begs the question of how a player forgets to run because it seems that it's only logical explanation for what happened that day. What do you think made him fall? Let us know down in the comment section below. Number 8. Crybaby Quay Walker it's totally okay to cry and be emotional. We understand that there are moments, but that of Quay Walker really left us puzzled. What happened? He was ejected from a game for assault, and that's it. A player from the other team was injured and down on the field, and some players, including Quay, had gathered around him waiting for medical assistance. One of the medical staffers came onto the field to assess the player on the ground. He slightly moved Quay to the side as he was in his way. Quay didn't take it lightly. In fact, he took it way too personally. And instead of moving out of the way for the staffer, he shoved him. This was quite unnecessary and unprovoked. And everyone could see it was Quay who made the first move. To protect everyone else, Quay was removed from the game. And his way back to the locker room, cameras spotted Quay crying like a baby. Which made us wonder. What's more interesting is that this tough man who wanted to beat everyone on the pitch became a crybaby a few minutes later. And no, it wasn't Quay's first time assaulting someone on the pitch either. Number 9. Sal Losi, aka Coach Dirty We can probably accept assaulting and crybabies, but a coach trying to sabotage a player's career is a different ball game. You think it's impossible, but what if we told you it actually happened? And fortunately, he was caught red-handed. Nolan Carroll would have been the unlucky victim in 2015 during the game between the Jets and the Dolphins. The Jets' assistant coach, Sal Losi, stuck his knee out to trip the running and unsuspecting Carroll. Well, he succeeded, and Nolan did fall in a humiliating manner. A lot of people laughed at the fall initially, but it was no longer funny when the truth came out. That wasn't the end of his career, though. Instead, it was the end of Sal Losi's career, as he was dismissed as a coach in the NFL. Indeed, what goes around definitely comes around. Number 10. Walsh in the Long Shot And finally, last but not least on our list, is the ridiculous of long shot that ended in a disaster. Rewind to January 10th, 2016, when the Vikings were seconds away from winning the playoffs against the Seahawks, the deciding score would have been gotten from a 27-yard field goal. Easy, right? But the outcome wasn't what we all expected. Well, it is in fact that most kickers would have made that play, even in their sleep. That's how easy it was supposed to be. But like everything in life, there's always an exception. And this was where Walsh rose to the challenge. He missed. He missed that easy win by a lot, in a very embarrassing manner. No Vikings fan ever speaks of this disaster, ever. It was not a proud moment, and you can bet that last dollar it still isn't. The only saving grace was that terrible kick didn't happen at the Super Bowl. Well, if that's consoling enough for a howler in a big game. With that, we come to the end of NFL players facing their most humiliating moments. Which one of them did you think was the most terrible? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more exciting stories from the NFL. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.